Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back. Welcome if you guys are new. My name is Jazz. This is Earth Vibes Tarot, and we do tarot for real over here. These are messages for Capricorn, Sun and Rising Venus, and Jupiter. If you guys are cross watching, welcome. We are doing messages of the higher self. So, messages that your higher self wants you to know, is trying to get you to be aware of. Capricorn, so we're gonna sit back, relax, get into the energy. I would appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for spending some of your day here with me because you do not have to. And we are going to go ahead and get right into the messages, please, Spirit. Wow, Capricorn. What a way to break into the reading. You guys have full moon and new moon in your sign. You have the end of a tough cycle approaches and your hard work is paying off. I feel like this is a huge confirmation for a lot of you guys as it relates to the progression that you're going through here in life as it relates to the awareness and uh, enlightenment that you are receiving here in your life here. And the end of a tough cycle approaching, a lot of you are already experiencing this end. A lot of you are already going through whatever this end is, Capricorn. And this is happening through awareness, right? This is happening through reflection, full moon energy. And we see the new moon, your hard work is paying off Capricorn. You, all of the work internally, externally, high vibrationally, physically, spiritually, mentally, it's all paying off and you are receiving what you have been asking for, right? It's, it's a new cycle, new cycles that are coming and going, coming and going. And a lot of you have been pushing really hard to end something, right, in your life or to, to stop doing something in particular. Now, if we kind of look at this energy plain and simply, this could be in regards to your career. This could be in regards to a financial situation, Capricorn. The trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Bottom of the deck is the drum, dream and journey. Yeah, so for some of you, this is having to do with career aspects, maybe having to do with your work, a creative opportunity here for you. It's almost as if spirit is asking you to exchange a gift of yours in order to... A part of this cycle that's ending is understanding what you're here to do. It's understanding purpose. Capricorn and it's it's feeling very much like there is something that you're needing to express or give or exchange and a lot of you are, are thinking about this or doing this and going after this with your hard work is paying off really dedicating and being diligent to a cause um, allowing yourself to to find and have this dedication towards something you are exchanging that energy and you are receiving the sense of abundance this is going to be you know that justice energy that we were talking about and have been talking about for weeks you guys are doing a lot of reflecting right and it, it's it's reflecting around purpose it's reflection around you <laughs> And the goals and dreams that you're going after for some of you for example this is a personal goal right for some people this could be about you know going to the gym weight loss ending a tough cycle in your mindset and your thought process this could be about mental health right very plain and simply the things that affect us day to day and exchanging energy is really allowing yourself to be involved with something in order to receive the blessing or abundance that is to come from it. All right, my love, show us more here, please, spirit, for cat. Thank you. So you guys got the three of Michael, which is uh, three of swords energy. You guys have number 13 Peace. 
death energy. <laughs> this is about this tough cycle, Capricorn. Release the past is the first statement in this is why I paused for a second because I'm like, wait, am I looking at the same? Release the past is literally the first statement in both of these cards. I don't think that that's a coinky dink here that's happening. I think this is really more of a message that's trying to be relayed. Release the past. You will grow from the situation that you are letting go of. And, you know, a lot of the times we we think that this is all about physical. No, it's it's not. It's really a mental energetic thing and a lot of that is having to do with the repetitious energy of thought right your thought pattern so if it's continuing to come up in thought but you have physically let it go it's not gone do you understand there is a more enriching future coming you will grow from the situation let go and let god let go and let the universe let go and let spirit let go and let yourself grow Give us one more here, please, Spirit. It's an ending of a said cycle. And it's a realization here that I'm going to have to do something, give something, give myself in some manner in order to receive the sense of abundance that I'm receiving. And, and you know, I know you guys are like probably sick and tired of my gym analogies, but that is one thing that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about health. I'm very passionate about fitness. I'm very passionate about, you know, the, the Eastern medicine, the Western medicine. Like it's, it's all about integration of everything. Okay. So I use this as an example, but understanding that work has to be put in and not just only in the gym, physical, it's about the mindset change that comes now with your food, that comes with your daily habits, that comes with everything that you do, right? So it's not just an energetic exchange of the physical to receive this abundance, to receive this outcome. It's the energetic exchange in your, your mindset change, your thought process to receive this abundance. And that's exactly what's happening. And this could be the same thought as, well, I don't think that I could achieve a certain degree or a certain diploma or a certain certificate in what I'm trying to go after. But it's shifting your mindset as well as going after those dreams, going after those goals. Give us one more here, please, Spirit, for Cap. Strength. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is forgiveness of yourself, right? Forgiveness of yourself and understanding. And as you are transitioning and as you are learning, the kindness and grace that you give yourself in every single moment is important because it's important to appreciate the phases that you are experiencing as you experience them while also understanding that growth is consistently occurring and change is the one thing that is consistent and change isn't as drastic as people think that it is it doesn't have to be these big, lavish changes that you're seeing or experiencing in life to be evolving and to be changing while also being grateful and happy and enjoying the moment that you're in. So let's let's take a look a little, a little deeper here. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Ariel, which is Knight of Pentacles energy with the Leap of Faith or the Fool card, and then the Page of Ariel or the Page of Pentacles energy. This, <laughs> there is an opportunity here, Capricorn, that's coming for you. If you allow yourself to listen to your heart, if you allow yourself to go after what you're feeling, um, this is 
again with the pentacle energy is something that you're experiencing in the physical this is also having a lot to do with um a plan a dream a goal something that you want to accomplish okay let's clarify a little bit here for my loves we're going to clarify here please spirit this three of my goal and this peace energy finding peace in your life doing what is best for yourself here capricorn seven of cups energy <clears throat> Ten of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. Seems as if there's something that has been bringing confusion or uncertainty to your life. You've been holding on to this energy. Capricorn, it's almost as if it needs to be it's like this inner knowing that, that something is, it needs to change, right? But there's a lot of confusion and a lot of maybe just noise that's going on around you, keeping the thoughts occurring, the, keeping certain emotions around the situation going keeping you in a in a standstill in a lockdown energy and it's it's really about leaving that behind yeah the sun three of cups empress and letting that go and understanding that that it's okay give us one more here please for the seven of cups Two of Cups in reverse. The five or the two and the seven leads us to the five. I feel like this was, uh, I'm going to say toxic, detrimental. Um, someone that was for themselves, right? Leaving you in a state of confusion or not understanding Especially with the Five of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. It's like being fed information, being fed energy, being fed knowledge that just festered in your thoughts, festered in your mind, that made it difficult or is making it difficult for you to release or let go. This could have been coming from somebody that you cared about, somebody that you loved, family member, a relationship, romantic, platonic, a friend a parent, something that just repeated itself over and over again. And it's like that was what was being held on to. That's what was festering. <clears throat> That's what's coming to an end here. Ooh, tell us more here, please, with this energy of strength. Tell us more here with this energy of strength, Holy Spirit, for Cap. Five of Wands. Seven of Swords. And the King of Swords. I almost feel like this is you facing and going up against opposition. This is um, information or truth or, you know, you're a truth, basically, maybe something that, again, it's it's something that you've been wanting to do, but have a, had a hard time overcoming mentally and emotionally because of what was being fed to you, um, said to you, repeated to you over and over again, and realizing that that was not true, that's not what was authentic to you that's not who you are um and you're finding this strength this courage within yourself this confidence 
not only to forgive, but to basically stand up to these these opposing energies that you're experiencing and that you're feeling. Because what was being experienced here, Seven of Swords, looking back to this King of Swords is, you know, I'm really not going to face this side of myself, right? I'm not going to face that most authentic side of myself because of what's coming at me. It's almost easier to surrender. Which is why strength is here. Strength is not going to let you surrender. Strength is not going to let you have this energy dwell on you. You're finding this sense of power again. Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Hierophant. Yeah, knowing that this is, knowing that you always had this within yourself. Seven of Pentacles really kind of going back and reflecting on the energy, but knowing that you had this within yourself, knowing that you were always able to, you always possessed this power, King of Wands, this, this ability. And I almost feel like you are, for some of you, you know, breaking generational curses, breaking generational mindset habits, things like that in order to achieve the success that you're you're coming into or that you're getting ready to go after. This is quite powerful, my loves. Show us more here, please, spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please. Show us more for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please. So you have the King of Air again, so King of Swords energy, Libra energy. You have the cross. I'm sorry, guys, my washing machine is going crazy. You have the key and you have the stork. So we're looking at the King of Swords, the cross, the key and the stork. This is you coming into an understanding of basically a solution clarity what you need to do understanding that you have been divinely guided this is destiny this is fate this is you going after something the stork energy states transformation and change it also states uh movement the birth of something pregnancy arrival departure what i'm feeling here is you unlocking and feeling liberated enough to really go after this energy and remember it doesn't have to be as big as people think it is it's it's little things that we do for ourselves you know little things that we go after for ourselves little goals that we set for ourselves you know whether it be as simple as changing our eating habits maybe getting up at a certain time maybe it's trying something new it's you allowing yourself to break out of a certain pattern and unlock this new new path for yourself and you're doing this out of a place of authenticity libra energy air energy within the next one to two weeks it states september 22nd to august 21st and then justice this is justice right so this is a sense of um balance and desires coming into life and this is also a state of truth that's being spoken and being given creating change Wowzers, Capricorn, you guys got some powerful ish going on here. Let's get a couple tea leaf oracles. All right, so wow, you guys have love and heart, love, deep affection, and caring. With the funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Oh my god, I swear, I knock over everything. That was a selenite ball. And then you have the dogs. Getting together with friends, the apple, temptation will test you. Give us one more here, please. And the chain, a chain of events that will affect your life. 
Capricorn. This was very powerful. I hope you found this insightful and that it resonated. If you did, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll speak to you in the next one.